road again. We're on the road again. I'm Steph. And I'm Pete. And that's our two-year-old son, Hayes. We were selected by Airbnb to travel the world for a year, calling a new destination home for a month at a time. Follow along. Good morning. It is... Does it matter what it is? It is Tuesday, March 1st. We leave uh, South Africa next Monday. And so we decided we wanted to do a safari. Uh, the area around Cape Town I don't think is the best for safaris, but we're going uh, about two hours away to a private reserve. Uh, neither of us have done one like that. But if you've watched any of our other South Africa videos, you know it's not a road trip without stopping at a winery. So we're doing that first. Time to wake up. Mommy and Daddy have some wine to drink. At this one, the liquor license only extends to this patio area, which is close to the playground, but not quite close enough. So we're taking turns. Just tagged in for Pete and discovered there's not one, but two playgrounds at this wine estate. Cross. Watch where you're going. No, oh. I go. Yeah, go down the slide. We've had our wine. There doesn't seem to be like a tremendous amount of interesting dining options, so we thought that it might be time, since we've been in South Africa for three weeks, to have a... Cheeky Nando's! Sorry, I'm just trying to find a parking space. We're having Cheeky Nando's before our safari. Also, while we were at the winery, we decided that we quite like this like random exploration and fantastic Airbnbs, so we booked another night out here uh, that looks pretty cool. So we're spending tonight at one place and then tomorrow at another place. My cheeky nanos! Cheeky nanos! Cheeky nanos! Cheeky nanos! Cheeky nanos! What that? I have no clue. This might be my second Nando's. I can't really remember the first time I had it, but anyway. They got the um, a bowl with rice, pulled chicken with the famous Nando sauce on it, and some halloumi, avocado, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's, it's cheeky. It's about as much as I can say. I quite like the sauce. This is my second time having it. I ordered it the other night, I don't think I filmed it. And it's fine. But like, if somebody could let us know why it's such like a fan favorite, I am curious. Like, it's fine. Am I wild about it? No. I'm gonna sound like such an American right now, but it's no Chick-fil-A. I said it. Just for the um, sunset so far. Careful. Careful. Thank you. Good job. Go, go, go. Yeah. We have arrived at Aquila Private Reserve. Um, we got some welcome drinks, some welcome snacks, and we're gonna about to go get on our. Safari vehicle. Have you located the spare tire, Pete? My own There's hippos in the water. Yes.
Comment below. This safari is great because we've seen rhinoceroses, rhinos, zebra, hippos, and we haven't yet seen a single bird. safari at Aquila Private Reserve. Thoughts? Uh, I really enjoyed it. It was brilliant for haze and the fact that we saw lots of animals in quite a short space of time. Um, I would still definitely recommend doing like an actual proper safari over something like that but if you can't for whatever and also if you have a toddler this is excellent. It's really really good. Yeah, I am not, I'm still not a safari person, but I am fortunate enough to have my first safari experience was the Serengeti in Tanzania, which was incredible. So I would say that if you've come to South Africa and a safari is your priority, you're not going here, you're going to Kruger, Kruger or something. Um, but if you're just hanging out in Cape Town and at the last minute decide that you'd like to do a safari, this worked. It was great. Um, the only thing that was like a little bit suspect, the lions were very tired and like in a specific, they have a separate lion enclosure, which is a lot of land, but they were like right there when we turned in, Yeah. which we're a little bit curious about. Um, I mean, we pulled up like right next to them and they were kind of just chilling in, in so, the shade, but I mean, not way, sure what's going on there. And then also way the, too close for comfort. The rhinos uh, had just recently been dehorned because apparently the guy that owns this place also owns a farm like a hundred kilometers away and some poachers recently got in and killed four of his rhinos so he removed all the horns? Were they called horns? Yeah. I don't, I don't know anything about animals guys. So anyway, um, we're really excited about the Airbnb we have booked for tonight. It's about an hour and 20 minutes from here in some direction um, and we're trying to get there before sunset. Baby shark. You saw a baby shark? on Airbnb. We're pulling up for the first time to this house. <laughs> There's a llama. Don't shoot it away, sir. There's a llama. Like we just got here. Hi. There's a llama. So this is our new Airbnb house, and that's, that's the llama. Hey, who's your friend? Who's that? That's a llama. Not yet.
adventure Pete here. I'm on a mission to try and get a close up of the springbok that are just roaming around. So let's see if I can catch them. Oh, and they started to run already. Oh, I wasn't very, I wasn't very stealthy, was I? And there they go. I think that was a fail. Sorry, guys. Good morning. <clears throat> I think last time we were here, we were arriving at this Airbnb, meeting Fred the alpaca, who I think I called a llama. He's an alpaca. What's the difference? Anyway, now it's morning, and we're enjoying some bagels. Hayes is enjoying some green space. So we'll just eat breakfast and then we want to give you a little tour of this amazing place. Cheers. Go and get Hayes now. We're having bagels. Did I say that? They're not that good. I got them at the grocery store. But the um, oak smoked trout is, is pretty good. Delish. All right, I want to show you this place. It's been really awesome. We didn't get here till like past 7 p.m. last night and we have to leave in uh, at 10. I don't know what time it is now. It's probably like 9.30. So let's go check out the place. Pete found this one. Um, we wanted somewhere sort of near our safari. This is actually like an hour and 20 minutes from where we were, uh, but it's amazing. This is the big living and kitchen space. Uh, TV and the tiger. You've got a great kitchen. You've got a gas stove which we haven't had in a lot of places um everything you need coffee french press let's go see Casey's room this is where we found fred hanging out last night i think i showed that and then you've got a whole big bedroom here the beds are really comfy in this place uh but he's slept in his crib right here he's had his own bathroom just in here uh we didn't touch it and now let's go upstairs Upstairs, you have the big main kind of bedroom bathroom suite. A couch that's my first time sitting on. This cool. I mean, everybody wants a bedroom swing, right? Pretty cool. Lovely views. Um, and then the bed was super comfy, bigger than what we have in Cape Town. Really nice linens. What else can I say? Come see the bathroom. All right, this is probably the biggest bathroom we've had in an Airbnb. We've got two sinks, a whole separate vanity area, toilet, massive bathtub that Hayes really, really enjoyed. I enjoyed it too last night. And then this crazy shower, like a rainfall shower, but from like way up there. Um, I think I have some shots of Pete showering, so you're welcome. Beautiful plush robes. We really did not spend enough time here to get to use all this, but it's been amazing. Okay, so there's one more thing. Aside from the alpaca, aside from the wood-burning wood hot tub, aside from the wonderful views that makes this place Really special, I'm gonna let Pete show you. What are you doing, Pete? All right, so to get to one of the best features of the house, you have to use these controls over here. I can't actually do it right now because Hazy stood on it. Hazy. Let's go. All right. Yeah, you ready, Hazy? All right, so this is a first for us. Um, it's really echoing here as well. But this is a little wine cellar, and this was the original cellar part of the building that was here before. Uh, there's a really cool book about the history of this place. They obviously kept this, but then built this new house on top, which is really cool. Uh, they've got their own selection of wines here uh, that are for sale. There are around 100 Rand uh, for a bottle, so that's about $7. $7. Um, we didn't try any, unfortunately. We brought our own. In here, now this would be really cool. We didn't actually, disclaimer, we didn't use it, um, but this would be great if you had some friends with, in town uh, or friends with you that you could sit and have a meal down here. Um, 
And yeah, I mean, it's 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 this. That's a scythe for cutting down wheat in the field. Casey, um, make a noise in here. You might like the echo. Can you can you call some monkeys? No echo. Big echo. Woo 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 woo. Can you do it? No. I want it off. There's also some like, I don't know if this is original or what, but there's like newspaper on the ceiling in here, which is fascinating. And then some history stuff, I guess, in a voice. Um, no need to learn more about this Ow. space. Some friends suggested on uh, Instagram that this place is, is, is a little bit... They said that it's a murder basement or a sex dungeon. Let us know what you think. Anyway, that's it for the tour. We asked if we could stay here a second night, but we're planning really last minute, so it's already booked. But we're headed to another place nearby that we think is going to be pretty special as well. grocery shop and make it to our new Airbnb which is perfect we wanted to just chill out um, it's this like big farm and a little rustic cottage on top that it took us like a weird drive around a bunch of hills um, but then we learned coming back down here to the brewery that's on the farm uh, that we could go a quicker way so now we're here at another yet another fantastic place to have a drink with a playground very, very close by. Oh, but Hayes is climbing up a ladder that mm, it's a bit big for him. Doing great. You good? Yeah, delicious. Really crisp, light. The information on the menu says that the brothers started this farm meaning to have it be a fruit farm, but I guess they liked beer. You can buy plums at this brewery. I don't know what else, so. From the orchard. Once again, don't really know what's going on, but it's good beer. Oh, and you can see our, can you see our house from here? No. So we woke up this morning and saw zebra, but it's now Thursday. We've officially got... You want to go outside? But don't follow daddy, he's packing. We officially have four more days, four more days in Cape Town. So we're headed back to enjoy those. Um, I didn't do an official tour of this place, so I'll sweep through with a GoPro and insert that here so you can see what this cabin's like. Certainly a lot simpler than the luxurious place we were in the night before, but both have been a really nice getaway from Cape Town. We're about two hours outside of Cape Town now. They say you should try to find yourself I got stuck in the valley They say never try to hide that's it. Thanks for watching. By the way, if you like this video, we think you might also like the one on the screen now where we went on a safari in Udawalawe National Park in Sri Lanka and saw elephants in the wild. So until next time. Bye.